Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of FTL's Advanced Edition here on board the Stealth Cruiser Type C. Against all expectations, we've been able to get ourselves a shield system, and we're actually made it all the way through to Sector 5 so far. Now, we're still a little bit underpowered with regards to our weapons. We've still got a little bit low defense with regards to only having one, two, rather, two shield bubbles. We do have enough scrap to buy ourselves up to level 3, though, so we're not really on the verge of death or anything, but things aren't going quite as well as we might have hoped. Let's hop over to the Success Beacon, see if we can get a bit more scrap, so you can find a store nearby maybe before we decide what to do with our money. Let's go though and see what happens. First jump, what do we find? A small civilian ship flies over as soon as we arrive. We're prepared to fight, but they just inform us that they're out of FTL fuel and can't jump. Well, we can afford to give them two fuel. We have 13 on hand. I'm sure we'll get some more before we get to the end of the sector. And what do they give us in turn? Ooh, they say, thank the gods, we can finally get out of here. We're jumping straight home, so take this extra weapon. We won't need it, hopefully. Giving us a stun bomb. Unfortunately, a stun bomb is a pretty junky weapon, so this is not a very good value prospect for us, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. So we'll jump on and see what else we can keep doing. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches us, saying, hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free unharmed. But we're not going to give our crew to the slavers, never. They do have a Vulcan, though. <laughs> And any ship with a Vulcan is dangerous in my book. Let's get ready to attack them here. Hopefully we'll be able to get some damage off before they can do too much to us with that Vulcan. It will slowly start spinning up. Thankfully for us, until it is sped up, it's really not that dangerous. And we should be able to knock it offline here with only two points of damage. Only one point of damage, in fact. Which completely resets the weapon. So that's fine. Unfortunately for us, though, the rocket launcher is going to be a problem. Because it's going to keep firing at us until we can eventually get enough damage there to knock it over. Thankfully, at the very least, it will... There we go. Take some pretty hefty damage from our repeated attacks here as we can spam our weapons in pretty quickly. There we go. So now they're down to just having their Mantis working on it, which is great. Knock them in the helm with the charge laser again. Next shot is going to go into the shields to keep them really distracted. And we're going to mini-beam them to the death anyway. Whoop. Whoa, that was weird. I clicked over here and it launched over that way. They surrender and offers a slave as tribute, who is a maximum engine skill uh, human named Luan T. But I don't really want any more humans at the moment. I need money and other resources pretty badly. So surrender is not an option for you. You are going to die. And oh, hang on, it's still in my oh, that's weird. It's still in my inventory or still in the inventory. It's still attached to my mouse. There we go. They're dead. The slave ship is destroyed. They won't continue the evil trade, but many lives are probably lost on that ship, giving us two fuel, one drone part, and 43 scrap. Well, I'll take it. Let's go fix these doors up, because we're going to need to have them fixed for later anyway, in case we get boarded or something here by the inevitable pirates who are going to be attacking us. Now, with 146 scrap, we can actually almost up afford to upgrade our shields and get the power for them right away, which is a pretty nice prospect. But I think we're going to take a look at our map before we do anything else foolish. So what do we see? It's just Beacon again. Let's go there. Might as well. If it has any other blue options we can take, that's a good step forward for us. A ship without life forms within a nearby asteroid field is giving off the distress call. We decide to investigate again. We search for the ship, and we find what appears to be pieces of a derelict ship coated with ice or crystal, but we have a chance to dock. A few asteroids get past our shields and partially damage our engines. So we have to take an escape route there. Unfortunately, we also took a uh, piece of engine damage, but I guess we did get lucky last time. I can't expect to get lucky both times. Hull repair, bring us back up. Can you get lucky enough to do us the full five damage we just took? There's two. Come on now, little drone, you can do it. There's three. Oh yeah, he's actually looking pretty good here. And four, and there's all five. Fantastic. All right. So let's just uh, get out of here then. There's a store right there. Perfect. Let's go check out what they want to sell us with our 146 scrap, and then we'll see if maybe we can do something else. We detect a hub of activity nearby. A large corporation has set up a trade depot and has a number of well-armed ships patrolling. This appears to be a relatively safe place to get repairs. We could almost buy cloaking from them, but have to sell something to get it. Their weapons are awful again. Heavy laser Hermes is really not what we're hoping for here. Their augments are pretty bad, too. Cloaking is really the best-looking thing there, although Defense Drone Mark I is pretty nice, too. Defending ourselves from missiles is pretty high priority. We do already have a drone system, so it wouldn't be the end of the world to buy one of those. I guess that's probably what we'll, we'll go for since we can't get the cloak. Having the cloaking would be really nice, but I'm four scrap short, and I cannot afford to sell any of the things I'm equipped with, because I need them all, really. I like a little stun bomb, though. That's terrible. <laughs> get rid of that thing. Get a cloak. Huh, done. Cloaking. Cloaking isn't as good, really, for the long term in with regards to our uh, evasion of bombs, but cloaking is more versatile for other things, too, so... Hopefully that won't matter too much. We'll be able to take advantage of it. Let's jump over this way, and then we'll work our way over through here, most likely. Lots of jumps to be taken. What do we find? 
We recognize this ship as another well-known slave trader. He hails us, offering us laborers for cheap. We move in to attack that slaver scum. They also have a big missile launcher, of course, so that's going to be a pain in the butt, but we're going to have to deal with it. We have a cloak ready to go here, so we can use that to make sure that we do not take any damage unnecessarily. Charge lasers are almost ready. We're going to go for the weapons here. Perfect. Knocked out the rocket launcher. We're going to fire right up through here, which I think lets us hit four rooms if we have really good aim. Probably not. A lot of these situations you can get to only three because it just barely fits the three. Yeah, we'll do that though. I'll, I'll take it. Oxygen, weapons, and... Oh! Didn't quite get the shields, but that's fine. So, the rocket launcher's back online again. We'll have to take that thing out, but we should be able to do it pretty quick here as long as we can get one more ion to hit them. Otherwise, we're just going to fire the charge and go for the mini beam combo again. There we go. Mini beam, please knock them offline. Thank you. They have the burst laser back online now, but they have no shield, so we can charge them out and knock it down pretty quick, hopefully. As long as we don't continue to miss like that, we should get the mini beam back up again now anyway before they can fire, and that is a dead pirate scout. Ooh, they offer us a Zoltan this time. Zoltan are actually quite nice, because that power is really useful. But I think, again, we need some money now, so surrender is not an option, unfortunately. I'd love to get a Zoltan crew. Is it worth it? Zoltan crew is pretty good. Zoltan crew are pretty good. We might as well take him. We'll accept their offer. We'll take Markle, the Zoltan crew. I do need resources, but I also need a couple extra crew here. We'll put him in the shields. We'll move Varmint over to doors, I guess. I'd like to have him on radar or something, but there's or somewhere closer to the middle of the ship, but I can't really afford to not have uh, that Zoltan power being used, and these guys are all pretty well trained now, so might as well. Varmint has next to no shield skill yet, so... <laughs> He's got one bar, so that doesn't really make much of a difference at all. Alright. And these guys are all basically maxed, yeah. So that'll do. And, uh, with 18 scrap left, we don't, really have any, we don't really have many other options. We should rename him, though, so you get to be Sheriff. Markle. And Varmint can be very disappointed that uh, he didn't get that, that name instead of Varmint. And let's keep going. What else can we uncover in this sector? Hopefully some more goodies. A small shuttle appears on local radar, and turns out it's a Rebel Automated Scout. Alright, well, that's annoying. They got a cloak and an ion charger, some mini-beam power, bomb. They have some pretty serious firepower there. Hopefully we can knock them out before they can do too much to us. There's the missile. Time to cloak. I don't feel like getting hit by that today. There we go. We use this to charge up our weapons, then hopefully smack them around without too much difficulty. Okay, charge ion, go. Charge laser, you need to go now too. Oh, small bomb is on its way. We're in for some damage here. And we missed them, which means the mini-beam can't do anything. We really have to alpha strike them really hard to be able to get any damage in here. Please miss me. Thank you. Alright. Charge laser. Oh, they've cloaked. Alright, this is a really bad setup for us. A really bad setup for us. Thankfully, they're, oh, they're alpha striking. We're actually going to leave, I think. Fighting that enemy is not going to be very easy, and I'd rather not take a bazillion damage right now, so let's just move on. Oh, good. This is almost worse. <laughs> Double ion blast. Heavy ion and a missile. Alright. This must be one of the Rebels Unmanned Scout ships. Looks like there's no way around a fight. And a hacking system. Please don't hack anything important. Drones are fine. That's okay by me. And you don't cloak, so you might be a little bit easier to actually kill. Alright. Talk about ion firepower, though. This guy is well equipped. There we go. We're gonna go for the charge ion in a second there. Alright, go. Please hit. Oh, good enough. We got two hits. Let's hit them again with a charge, and we'll mini-beam them and try to do some damage here. Nope. No damage to the mini-beam again. We really need better weapons. Our weaponry is seriously terrible right now. Please don't hit anything important there, missile. Thank you. Alright, we're slowly hitting them. Not fast enough, though, for my preferences. Alright, now we can hit them with the mini-beam and the weapons. Hopefully knock off that missile launcher. Nope, we got the heavy ion, which doesn't really make any difference, really. I think this is the next weapon to go offline, though. I'm not sure. Another lucky miss for us is really good. Charge ion is very slowly knocking them over. We're just going to wait it out here, see if we can get another shot. We can cloak when the next missile fires, like so. There we go. Now we can hopefully get a charge laser in there. We're going to aim for the shields again to hopefully knock them down a bar naturally. So if we do miss, they don't keep regenerating. Still not doing enough to the weapon system, though. So we're going to get the charge laser in there, hopefully. If we can get another shot with the charge ion, it'll weaken the shields into nothing. Perfect. Charge is away. Please don't hit me there, rocket. You've been very generous so far. There goes our O2. That's an Artemis, actually. That's nasty. Let's send Varmint to go fix that. That's his job. We're going to mini-beam them through the shields and engines, because it doesn't really make much of a difference at this point. They're basically dead anyway. When the charge lasers ready to double fire, it'll kill them. Or should, unless they get lucky and dodge. Which they did not. They are dead. Fantastic. Get you back in the doors there, Varmint. Ship explodes, giving us one fuel, two missiles, and 31 scrap. That'll do. And we are going to keep saving our money. We need to get ourselves higher-level shields in a hurry. Distress beacon it is, though. Let's go see what these guys 
guys want, see if all of our various different races of crew will be able to help us with this. We've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. Looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. It's just us speaking as active, but we're not sure if anyone's on board, so let's hail them and find out. The vessel is relieved to heal from us. They're running low on supplies, and it's just a trade. I don't need missiles, unfortunately. I have 30 of them. So we're going to politely decline and move on. If they wanted my help, they should have offered something I actually needed. What do we find over here? Once we arrive, our screen lights up with warnings. Nearby pirates seem to have advanced hacking tools and have tried to shut down our engines. Our crew managed to keep them barely operational and we move into attack. Well, that sucks. We lose a whole bunch of evasion all of a sudden. These guys have some pretty nasty weapons. We're going to take some hits here, I think, and there's not much we can do about it. Also, it seems to actually shut off the engine system, so Desperado can't actually man it, which, again, reduces our evasion pretty significantly. So let's get the charge ion fire in, because we might as well. And we'll go for a charge laser shot mini beam combo. We're gonna dodge this though, so we're gonna get our first shot off here. And dodge. Don't feel like taking any unnecessary damage if we can help it. There we go. And charge ion should keep hitting them eventually. There we go. And we should be able to get through them and do some more damage. Stun bomb coming in as well. So they have two stun weapons, and that's not so good for us, but thankfully. There's some good damage. Thankfully, they uh, don't have access to their burst laser right now, so really they're not that dangerous. Not too worried. And we should be able to knock their shields offline now with the charge ion, since they have a bit of damage in the shields, although they do have an NG in there, so that's not such a big deal. Thankfully, there's nobody on the helm. We're gunning for the helm now to make sure their evasion is much lower. We're going to gun right across this way to reduce their odds of being able to evade us in future. There we go. Now they're dead. Charge laser. Get in there. Kill them off. Stun bomb comes in. Stuns our captain. But it doesn't matter. They're dead anyway. So, with the pirate ship destroyed, our systems, our ship's systems are restored to full functionality. We salvage what we can from the debris, getting 3 fuel and 46 scrap. I will take that for sure. Alright, 95 scrap on hand, almost enough to get the shields back up to where we want them to be, so that's good news. We still have a stunned captain, though, so once he's no longer stunned, we'll be able to leave. That is a long stun timer, holy cow. Those stun bombs have a long stun effect. Alright, we have... I think we need the shields. It's really the next priority purchase for us. So let's jump into the nebula over here, and then we can probably jump around that way with plulenty of time, since nebulae do slow the rebels down quite nicely, and see what we find. The crew are constantly looking out of the windows, checking for hostiles. They jump at every creak and moan of the ship, and the tension is almost palpable, but nothing happens. All right, over this way, then. We've got plenty more time still. What's this all about? Probably nothing again, but we'll find out in a second. We can't see anything through the thick gases surrounding our ship. Without knowing what's out there, all we can do is wait for our FDL to recharge. All right, well, let's jump over here and fight something then, because we know there's a ship here. It might not be a fight, but we'll see. Our ship emerges quite far from the beacon. We see Rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to look for us. Three shields, missile, and a heavy laser. Well, that's not a nice combo, but let's try and attack them. we got to try and get as much money as we can here. So here goes nothing. Let's get that charge ion powered up. We're going to probably cloak out the missile when it first fires. It's probably an Artemis as well, so we'll dodge that to make sure it doesn't hit us. And I, we actually get to dodge the uh, flak as well, which is quite nice. And charge ion is fully powered. Let's fire that at the shields. Go, go, go. Please hit. Now, two hits is better than no hits. Let's fire some more shots in there. Please, hopefully, both of our charge lasers hit. Unfortunately, they don't, so we can't do anything with the minibeam yet. But hopefully, we get some better accuracy in the future, and we're able to get through them. Otherwise, we're just going to run away. Because I do not want to take a bazillion damage fighting these guys. And it's not looking good for us being able to hit them. Let's get some damage in here, though. This looks pretty good now. Flat comes in, doesn't do any damage to us. We get the mini beam through, which is crucial. And we get the beam in to do some damage to the shield, which is also super important. They've regenerated back to full, though, which sucks. So this is not looking too good for us. We're going to cloak out to dodge these flak shots. I really don't want to take any damage here. We don't have to. And we're going to try and get one more charge ion damage on them. There's nobody on the helm. There is somebody on the helm. Never mind. I was about to say, if there's nobody on the helm, we have a really good opportunity here. But there was someone on the helm, which makes it a lot, that's a lot less nice. I think we're going to bail soon. If we can't get any more damage on them, this is going to suck. If the charge ion misses again, we're definitely leaving. Otherwise, we might try and stick it out here. Because we can do a bit more damage now if we can only get one hit. No, <laughs> two misses. All right, cool. There goes our clone bay. That's annoying. Let's go repair that. And they've recharged their ion, so we're leaving. Exit beacon it is. We're having some pretty bad luck here with this ship. We really need better weapons. We're just not getting them. Long range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, we can jump to the next sector. We'll repair our clone bay. This is, of course, a nebula exit, so there's nothing here ever. But we really need better weapons, otherwise we're not going to be able to keep fighting the enemies. As we're going to start fighting enemies with four shield bars soon in Sector 6, and that is going to be the death of us. Abandoned Sector it is, though. Hopefully we can get something interesting over here. We only have four fuel left, so our options are fairly limited, but we'll see what happens. 
This sector was the site of many major battles between the Federation and Rebel fleets. Strangely, there's very little evidence of those battles remaining. It's not strange at all. We know there's some Lanius here. Let's go check out the Sistress Beacon and see what happens. We have a lot of crew, but no Lanius crew, so we're not going to be able to do any of the blue events here. We'll see what happens. This distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire, and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. Looking for help to fix or disable it, so we promise to help, and we have three options here. We use cloaking, ion weaponry, or NG crew. Let's use the ion weaponry. They seem to like that. We use our ion weaponry to disable the gun long enough for the repair crews to fix it. They message us saying, I've never seen a weapon like that before. Thanks for your help. Please accept this reward. One missile, one drone part, 55 scrap. Good scrap rewards, not good fuel rewards, unfortunately. So actually, before we jump onto the next beacon, I'll be right back. I'm out of water and I need some more. So, I will be back momentarily. Here we go. Much better. All right, let's keep moving here. We have 150 scrap. I'd really like to buy ourselves some shields. I really want to get weapons too, but at the moment, survivability is king. Can't quite get enough to get ourselves up to the full power bars we'd like, but I'll take what I can get and we'll move on. Found only two fuel left. We need to find a store or something else that'll give us fuel soon. A small Lanius craft approaches. We prepare for a fight, but they don't seem to be carrying any weapons. After a brief moment, they message us, and although our translator struggles with the unfamiliar dialect, it appears they wish to trade. Three missiles for 33 scrap. Done and done. After the exchange is complete, they leave without a word. Alright, well, thank you, Lanius. There's a store right here, too, which is perfect. So we're gonna go here, then go to the store, and see if we can acquire some fuel to keep us from dying a horrible death here. Sensors indicate a small Lanius cruiser in the process of salvaging another Lanius ship. Before we have a chance to wonder what happened to cause them to turn on each other, the survivor notices us and moves in to attack. Hacking drone is on its way. Please don't hack anything important. Doors. Perfect. Don't care about doors at all. So, only have two shield bars. We have a Flak Mark II, which we're going to definitely cloak out because that's a pretty nasty piece of weaponry. But, apart from that, they're really not that scary. Let's fire the charges, and once those hit, perfect. We're going to go for the charge laser, knock out the weapons. And we missed, but that's fine because we're going to be able to fire a mini beam right through four rooms. There we go. I did some good damage to them. Charge laser can easily sneak through their now defenseless ship, and we'll probably do so aiming at the weapons. Fire, and we're going to cloak. Receive a one word message from the enemy ship Surrender. We assume they're asking to surrender rather than demanding our surrender, but we're not going to accept their surrender. We're going to murder them because we are heartless heartless individuals. Four more damage, there we go. Charge laser, go. Knock out those weapons. These guys are dead in the next five and a half second charge. There we go. Linea Scout goes down. Ship explodes, leaving us two fuel, two missiles, and 31 scrap. And unfortunately, for some reason, we decide not to investigate the other ship. But whatever, let's go to the store and then we'll move on. Get ourselves some more fuel so we don't wind up immediately dead. This beacon is bustling with activity. It looks like the merchants have decided to capitalize on the fact that dozens of refugee ships are using this location to recharge their FTL drives. We browse their wares and pray for a decent weapon. Charge laser mark two. Eh. It's not really what I was hoping for. <laughs> Even more charge shots. We have a really good charge laser here because this only takes one power, but this one's not so great. Four lasers isn't bad, but it takes 20 seconds to charge up to four lasers, and it takes three power to do so. We do need more lasers, though, so this might be our only real option here, which would suck. Because the charge ion's really good at shield lockdowns, and I don't know, this is this is not a good option. We're going to see if we can get something better. If we can't, I may li get to live to regret it, but for the moment, we'll hope for the best. I could get a mind control system. That could be fun. But I kind of need to get weapons. I need to prioritize getting weapons. So we're not going to buy anything else. There's another store over here, so that's perfect. Let's jump over this way and see what these guys are selling. If they have a better weapon, that would be great. A trading depot is set up near this beacon, and a surprising number of military ships guard the station. We pick up an advertisement on a wideband channel. Ship parts, refueling, repairs, souvenirs, we got it all. Check out the only store not afraid of scavengers this side of Omicron 6. Alright, well, you don't have any weapons. Jerks. Got a Beam Drone Mark II, which is a little bit better than the Beam Drone Mark I, but not that much better. Defense Drone Mark II, we can buy the Automated Reloader, though. At least that makes our normal weapons a bit better at being able to break shields and such. It only gives you, I believe, a 10% faster cooldown, but that's good enough when you're able to get that uh, Ion Lockdown and whatnot going. Buy some more fuel, because we need it. I would have quite liked to get something better than that, but it's time to get towards the exit as fast as we can, take advantage of what we can barely manage to scrounge up, and that's a very nice looking ship. We have picked up a Lanius vessel drifting in the sector. There's no damage to the hull, and it appears to be powered down. Let's scan the ship for life forms. 
As we scan the vessel, the scan frequencies awaken the Lanius crew from hibernation, and they're hungry for raw materials. Well, that didn't work out so well. We've been mind controlled. Desperado has been taken over. Well, that's annoying. And they're cloaked out, so we can't do anything to them either. And they boarded us. Okay, in the helm. In the engines, I mean. That's mean of them. Okay. They have a long cloak, looks like a long mind control. They're wrecking our engines very quickly. They don't need air. We're gonna need to send our entire crew in there to deal with this, but we're gonna wait, hopefully, until they decide. Oh, they've drained all the oxygen. Lovely. We're gonna wait, hopefully, until they. Uh... Why are they leaving the room? That's weird. Get over here. Alright, they wanna come fight us? No, they don't. They wanna go in the doors. That's weird. These guys are doing weird things, and now our Sultan came out of the weapons, so we lose our charge ion. Okay, this is not a great spot to be in, but we're going to need to do as much as we can to them. So, let's get the charge ion in there. Hopefully we can hit them once, and we'll be able to do some damage to them. They've gone into the doors, so we're going to have to send some crew to go deal with them. Let's send our slug and our human in there. We have a combat NG, I believe Varmint has some fighting skill. No, he doesn't. Okay, I'm just mistaken then. Get these guys in there. We don't have a powerful enough oxygen system to actually prevent our crew from suffocating very quickly, which is annoying, but thankfully they've decided to attack a room that really doesn't matter, so we're not too worried about that right now. The mind control is a problem, though, so we're going to try and knock that out quickly. We're going to double charge shot in there, and we're going to mini-beam through the mind control and also through the teleporter, just to give them something else to think about. There we go. So thankfully, we can bail on here now. The doors aren't too important. Get to the clone bay, thank you. Not that it really matters, because it's not like having that thing uh, disabled will, you know, uh, being in here won't heal them or anything. It just means that they're not going to suffocate in the room and die. Although, again, it doesn't really matter, because they respawn in a, in a second anyway. But we'll see what happens. So there comes the beam. They can't actually hurt us, apart from the fact that their borders are just going to wreak havoc on us. I might start suicide charging them because otherwise we're not going to be able to kill them. So let's get rid of the NG. Let's send you to go mana systems. We attack more quickly. Actually, send you to go mana systems. They attack more quickly. You can go run the shields. Or we'll go repair the engines. That's even better. And we're going to suicide charge with our Zoltan and our human. With our med bay powered, mind you, we'll be able to hopefully survive it pretty easily. And they've come back out again. Alright, that's annoying. He's going to die immediately from the suffocation then, and we'll get a chance to suicide charge them, which is going to be a problem for us. This is the first time I've really taken advantage of our... Uh, this is terrible, though. Holy cow. Uh, of our clone bay, but we don't really have any other options here. These guys are going to kill us. So, we're doing what we can to not die here. Let's get the charge lasers in there, knock out some of those weapons. And we missed. Fantastic. Let's fire the... Mini beam through here this time. See if that makes them more concerned and want to go back to their ship. Scanners indicate the Lania ship is preparing to jump. That's not good. Thankfully, okay, they've left. Good. So we can can't do anything with the doors, but that's fine. We'll be able to get our air back eventually. Desperados respond. He lost two engine skill and a bit of repair skill. Okay, the engine skill is not too bad. He can get that back pretty quick. We need our air to come back in the rooms though, and then he can go start repairing these systems. Is it safe in there yet? Yeah. Okay. Good. So we can start getting our Zoltan back soon. That'll be good. These guys have cloaked again. They're still trying to run away, though. So we need to get some damage on them pronto. We're going to try and knock out their helm right now. There we go. Mini beam. We're going to fire through these four systems again, which should make them not want to go to the helm. Unfortunately, we missed. Mistimed it, rather. Not missed. Ow. Oh, should have dodged that, unfortunately. But that was bad timing on our part. We take a nasty halberd beam to the face there, which knocks out our mini beam. That makes this a bit trickier. That was bad on my part. All right. Let's get you back out of there. And they've boarded us again because they're absolute jerks and they just want to keep murdering our crew. We're going to fire the charge laser in at the weapons, I guess, because they shouldn't have been able to get through there. It was my own misdoings. The Lania ship hails us, saying, or rather, our translator struggles, spreading out, prevent death, merc merciful penit pen penitent. We believe they're surrendering. Well, we're not going to accept their surrender. You've killed our crew a couple times, so we're just going to kill you. And I can't even suffocate you out because you're Lanius, which is actually probably a reason I shouldn't have come here, but whatever. We don't think we had an option, come to think of it. Let's murder our crew again. Let them respawn with less skill, because why not? And we'll charge laser these stinking Lanius to death. There we go. This hurts me to let that happen, though. They're not even doing any damage because they keep suffocating to death. Ship explodes, revealing their cargo of unprocessed metal. We get one missile, one drone part, and 50 scrap. But we have to keep fighting these guys, which is going to literally take forever, and they're going to be able to keep doing damage to our systems while we wait, and it's just a mess. All right, guys, get in there. You're going to come in here, too. Try and protect that system. Try and protect any system damage. We're going to take suffocation damage, which is going to suck, and we're probably going to lose more crew while we wait here, but we might be able to kill at least one of them before that happens. All right. 
not super keen on this whole strategy, but this is apparently what we have to do, because we have a uh, clone bay instead of a med bay, so this is what ha this is how it goes. Come on, kill the Lanius before you all suffocate. There we go. One of you survived. <laughs> That's terrible. Ugh, I hate the clone bay. Alright, let's get you back in here. All of our crew have lost skill points now, which sucks. Alright, go fix things. Go fix some things. And you, sir, are gonna go fix the doors. Yeah, he's lost some more engine skill now, which is not a big deal, but still not cool. He's lost some of the piloting skill he didn't have. Rustler has lost 13 weapon skill, which is why I say it's percentage-based, because that's nasty. Doesn't make a huge difference with these fast-firing weapons, but that's still pretty bad. Bronco lost three evades from that one death. It's pretty vicious, and it adds up quickly, too. That's the nasty part. Let's go finish fixing those doors, and then we will get a move on. Okay. So, Lanius Borders, give us a hard time still. Good to know. And we will power off one of those engine bars to give us more mini beam power. Do we have anything else we can jump to from here? Not really. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy ourselves another power bar so we don't have to constantly rely on that. We're going to get ourselves another cloak so we can keep ourselves hidden from damage a little bit better. We really need to get better weapons though, and if we don't get an opportunity to do that soon, we're going to die. We detect a Lanius vessel docked with a ship... What? Docked with the jump beacon. It appears the Lanius are absorbing metal from the beacon, risking destroying it and becoming stranded. We can send a drone to help... Hmm. What does that do? I've never seen this before. As soon as the drone gets close, Alanius in a type of spacewalk maneuvering unit grabs it and immediately starts breaking it down for metal. We prepare for a fight, but they appear quite grateful for the act. They start to use the metal to repair key portions of their ship, and from what we can understand from the translator, it appears one of their crew wishes to join us. Well, we have Alanius now. Welcome aboard, Alanius friend, Jun Peng. We have ourselves... someone who's also anaerobic. We have a... hmm... a moderately talented crew, too. Engines and helm. Unfortunately, we don't have anywhere we want to put them, so I'm going to stick them in the doors. I'm going to bring a varmint back over here. That way we can use them to uh, repair things, and the deoxygenating effect from Junpeng will make them less likely to want to come in and break our door system, which will be actually a pretty good idea, I think. We also need to rename them something that's also appropriate to our theme. So you... Hmm, what's a good name for you? We already have Desperado, Bronco, Rustler, Varmint, and Sheriff. You can be... We kind of got some horns there. Let me make you. Let's make you Longhorn. Oh, I could make that. Should make that. Uh, might change your name. But Longhorn is what you're going to be for now, and that should do just fine. You kind of got that horn-looking arms. So let us see what we're going to do with this. We have very few options remaining to us. We're running close to the end of the sector. Let's try and get some more money, though. We have Alanius crew now, so we should be able perfect to get some good stuff out of this. We immediately do a short-range scan after arriving at the beacon. It appears to be coming from a small civilian vessel under its fire from a Lanius ship. Not all Lanius are content with simply scavenging the wrecks of previous battles, but we have the Lanius crew, so we can do this event, which I've never seen before. We can have our crew admonish their captain, see what this does. The ship refuses all hails, even for one of its own kind. It appears to have completely rogue. Before it can react, it begins to target our ship, we have to prepare for a fight. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't what I was expecting at all. Alright, well, they've mind-controlled our shields again. This looks like the exact same layout as last time, almost. They got a big rocket launcher this time, though, which sucks. And they've pointed us in the doors, so I just tell you. Alright, don't do that game. At least they're trying to leave. So if we can get enough of our crew over there, we might be able to do some damage to them before they vent the room, but, like, this is not cool, man. Alright, let's... Let's get our crew over there to brace for impact. We have more Lanius borders again. That rocket's gonna hurt too when it comes. Alright, so we have our weapons online, thankfully, because we need to use our Zoltan to move. He's gonna probably break one of our shield bars, though, which is not what we want. Thankfully, their lasers can only get through one bar anyway. I don't think the rocket has fired yet, so we should be okay. These guys are actually not interested in staying in this room, which gives us a good opportunity to do some damage here, then run to the next room and fight them when they get here. Although they don't seem interested in that either, which is kind of irritating. Alright, so they've knocked down a shield bar. We're gonna go for the charge ion on the shields, hopefully get some damage in there quickly. Alright, our Lanius crew member Longhorn is already taking damage. This looks like a breach missile, honestly, which is good for us, in a way. Because now, all we have to do is dodge this. And we should be able to fairly easily recharge it in time to get away. So let's send our Lanius crew member out of the doors. If they want to go destroy our doors, we're going to have to go send some other crew to go deal with them. I don't really want to have Rustler die, though, so we're going to send him back into the weapons. I should have just let them kill Longhorn, I think. Probably would have been wiser. 
They've cloaked out again, which is not great for us, but there's not much else we can do about it. They've teleported home, so it's time for us to get our crew out of there. Ugh. Alright, well, let's get you back indoors. There we go. At least they've controlled our NG's mind this time, so the odds of them being able to do anything seriously dangerous to us are somewhat reduced, because he's not really good at destroying systems. And one of these days, we'll be able to actually get through their defenses. Let's fire the charge lasers and see if we can knock them out that way. There we go. Now we're going to knock out their mind control and their teleporter, so they can't immediately teleport back on board us again as easily. They still can, because we didn't do enough damage to it, but at least it makes it somewhat harder for them. Get you into here. Oh, nope, I left that door open, so that's still suffocating you. And they've boarded us again, because they're awful. They've missed us with that bomb, which is great, because I forgot to dodge it. So that makes it a little bit nicer for us. And we're just going to go have to sacrifice some crew here, because otherwise we're not going to be able to stop these guys. And they don't seem to have any interest in not attacking us. So we're just going to go sacrifice a bunch of our crew. Why can't I send you in there? Clone Bay is off. Thankfully, we can turn that on pretty quickly. There we go. He's back online. Unfortunately, I should have taken a shot there, but I missed the opportunity because they've now cloaked. Three of our crew are dead again. They're going to break our doors before we can do too much else about it. Because they are insufferable jerks. At least the mind control is still broken. These Lanius fights are awful. Holy cow. Alright, our Lanius has respawned. We're going to send him in to go fight these guys. Unfortunately, I have no support for him, though, so I guess I'll wait till somebody else respawns. I think that was a rocket that just fired, though. There it is. Alright, we're going to dodge the rocket. It hits us anyway. <laughs> Having massive evasion doesn't do a darn thing in this game. Alright. Oh no, they mind control our pilot. We only had 60% evasion. Thank you for nothing there, game. So this is awful right now. We're gonna try and blast these guys and see if we can get something else happening here. Fire the charge laser. Fire the mini beam through weaponry. There we go. We need something here because otherwise we're gonna keep dying. Our crew are in a lot of trouble here still. Get you in there. Because they have free rain... Free rain... <laughs> free rain words over our ship and there's nothing we can do about it all right they've gone home again thank goodness let's get you out of there let's get you all out of there you're gonna go deal with this I'm gonna close the doors eventually once we can fix them I keep missing the opportunities to attack them because of the fact that they keep uh, cloaking out when I'm trying to deal with the borders that are constantly on board our ship and in general, this is really nasty, so let's go try and fix our cloak before we get hit with a missile and die. They've got one ready for an alpha strike, we need to get out of this room, here it comes, we're going to take a ton of damage in a second, so we're just going to... I don't want to leave though. Miss us. Nope. Hits us for four damage, alright. And they've mind controlled our shield crew again, that's fine. We can't open this room to vent it, so we can't help fix that faster, we can turn off the O2, so that'll help fix it. This is pretty awful, honestly. Pretty awful. Those fires don't want to go out. We have to get out of here, I think. I don't know why I took that last four damage. This is going to kill us if I stay. Because these guys have massively ridiculous firepower. We're going to leave. That was a terrible event. And I let myself take way too much damage there. Alright. We receive a message immediately on upon our arrival. Help! These metal bastards have gone crazy! The communication originates from the hull of a partially dismantled ship which lies among the number of other recently destroyed ships. The violent Lanius, responsible for this carnage, is advancing on the survivors. Well, let's attack the Lanius then. We charge our weapons, which quickly get the Lanius ship's attention. But yeah, I thought we might be able to do something with that, but no. No, we really can't do anything with that. Alright, repair that, turn the O2 back on. We're going to open internal doors except for the ones related to where our Lanius is, because he's going to vent the entire ship if we let him. We'll come back in here and fix the cloaking and our shields, and maybe we can fight this guy. Seriously, though, there have been so many ridiculous fights we've had to do in the last little while. And of course they get through and hit us, because why not? Let's get you over here. Is every... all of the rooms on our ship are on fire, really? Okay, close these doors, vent these rooms. Let's just try and do some damage to these guys, because we're getting beat up here really badly. Nope, couldn't get anything in there. Okay, well, we're going to close those doors again. We're going to cloak, because otherwise they're going to hit us with a flak and a bunch of other lasers, which we don't really want to have happen. Thank you very much. Now their shields are getting a bit lower. Still not down, though. One more shot has a chance to get through. There we go. Now we're going to be able to wreck them. But seriously, that last battle was a mess. I'm not sure why I stayed there. I should really have just left. Because we got absolutely ravaged there. I should be healing myself now, too, but I'm not. Alright, we should be fine, though. I don't think they can actually kill us in time. We have a pretty good amount of firepower to bring to bear on them, and they are dead. Goodbye, Lanius Scout. You're not as powerful as that ridiculously powerful ally of yours was. Lanius craft breaks apart, giving us one fuel, one drone part, and 36 scrap. When we contact the civilians, we find that the ship we saved was badly damaged in the battle. Most of the crew accepts our offer to be dropped off a nearby station. One offers to join us. Another, man, another uh, Lanius, rather, who has good combat experience. Welcome aboard, Walker. 
All right, Walker, you're going to come over here. You're actually kind of with our theme already. Walker, Texas Ranger, as it were. All right, well, that is something, at least. Our crew have lost a bunch of skill, which is kind of annoying, but they'll get it back eventually. Engines is the particularly big loss, but we'll get him eventually. And we'll send you back over here so you can do some more repairs there, Varmint. And we need to rename somebody else. I'm not entirely sure what I want to call you. I have... I, th what was, what, I had a couple other ones in mind, a couple other good names here. Longhorn works, I think, for uh, him, but I think we want to change and do something else. I think we might go for Vigilante. That one might be a good name. Or... Hmm... Yeah, I'll go for Vigilante for him. He can be a Vigilante. Crew Walker, you are now Vigilante. Perfect. So, we have ourselves a you know, very close to death ship, so let's repair that quickly here before we wind up being actually dead. That is the nice thing about this drone here, as long as we get some decent numbers out of him and doesn't just do three every time, we'll be able to heal ourselves up in no time. There's at least more than three, so that's that's good. There's five on our first heal, that's nice. Brings us back up to seven hull. See if we can keep that luck continuing here and bring ourselves back up to a decent spot. This is a very valuable drone, really, if you're not using your drone parts for anything else. That one was only a three, but to be fair, we did just get a five out of him, so it's hard to complain. We really need more firepower, though. If we can't get more firepower, we're gonna lose. We just don't have the ability to fight our enemies. We have a lot of crew now, which is great, but we just do not have the punch that we need to actually win these fights. So, that's probably our our main priority for the remaining sectors, if we can even make any more real progress here. But we're at the end of Sector 6, which is much more than I expected us to be able to make with this piece of junk. We arrive at a long-range beacon, and here we find an ion bomb. Oh. As soon as we arrive, a small mantis ship detaches from a wreck and jumps away. We must have interrupted their salvage operation, because we find 25 scrap and an ion bomb ready to install. Okay, well that's pretty awesome. I could use that. We have 31 bombs. The main problem, though, is that I, I kind of need both of these, and the charge ion's better at locking down than the ion bomb does, because it doesn't, doesn't have a huge chance of missing and completely resetting everything. Let's just get out of here and see what happens in the next sector. We have a civilian sector and a rock-controlled sector. Uh, despite the low value of civilian sectors, we're going to go here, because we need to find a bunch of stores so we have a lot of chances to get weapons, because otherwise we are not going to have a chance of winning the last stand. So here we go. We'll see what happens. We've arrived at a new sector. We have to get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels can catch us. Oh, so there's some really poor decision making in that battle. There was no reason I should have let myself get hit so hard by that one Lanius ship. But thankfully it doesn't really matter because we can heal ourselves with our hull repair drone pretty easily. So, wound up not being the end of the world. But still, I, w I just wanted to be able to beat them, but I kept missing opportunities to attack. And it was pretty poor on my part. But overall, overall I think this run has been pretty good. So we'll see if we can actually... Uh, oh, pretty good, he says. Pretty good for the Stealth Cruiser Type C. So, thank you all for watching. This has been Vanguard of Valor trying his damnedest to make a good run happen here with the Stealth Cruiser Type C, our VSS High Noon, and I look forward to seeing you guys again next time to see if we can actually win with this thing. Wouldn't that be a sight? For now, though, thank you again very much for watching, and look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye